Hello friends, Kishan is here again and in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to iterate map which is the part of the collection and uh, here I will show you uh, how to iterate map using uh, for each loop which is the part of the J JDK 1.8 so let's go ahead and create a Java project so I would give the project name as iterate map using using for each so this is my project name so this is the project I have created now let's create a class in package com dot info take dot model and class name I'm going to specify as employee and employees having few fields like private string name private string email private we have a like double salary so just i'm going to freeze up to this this much field you may add more fields as well now i'm going to initialize this fields using constructor now let's create a getters for these fields so select getters and this will generate the getter method and finally i'm going to overwrite two string methods so that when i'll iterate list of or collection of student uh, employees then this will print in nice format so generate uh, two string and select all fields and here is the two string method now this is just a model class which holds three values cross and this value the three properties and these properties going to initialize by using its constructor public getter methods and finally two string method now let's create a, another class and that class is called client program client and I would say client test which will have main method and here I'm going to create a map key is an integer and value is an employee object itself and I would give name as map and you can take any implementer of map here I am going to take hash map ok press ctrl shift o for organize import now is map is nothing but it's a collection which holds key value pairs so map has a method is called put and here look at here you can put key and value keys an integer so here let's assume in key is nothing but the employee id itself and value is an employee object so here name i'm going to specify shown email uh, is an again in string so shown m at the rate gmail.com and salary let's specify 90,000 now this is the first element I have added first entry I have added in map now let's add few more and 4 4 5 5 and let's enter you Yes. and let's assume the salary is 70,000 now for Martin something like that 
salary let's assume uh, 80,000 so these are the three entry I have added in map now how usually we can we treat map in what are the traditional approach so here map has a method is called entry set you can you can use entry set right and this will give you uh, object of set again set you can this is a set of entry object right so set you can iterate user a set you can iterate using either uh, iterator or uh, for enhanced loop right we have a for in enhanced for loop so here i'm going to iterate this set right and this set will give you the uh, elements of entry object and entry has a directly if you go to the api entry has a directly get key and get value method right so directly this will give you the key value pairs from map and here you can print uh, this dot get key right so key will be printed so key is nothing but the employee id and value similarly you can have a, in entry interface we have a method is called get key which will give you sorry get value and this value will give you the employee object itself right and this way we can iterate map if i run it then we got the information right? employee id and corresponding details employee id and corresponding details so this is the one of the way to iterate a map right again you can iterate map as there is another approach it's called if you look into the map interface then you have a method is called something is called get key right get key. Uh, i'm forgetting those name key set that must be a key set right this will give the set of this will make the bunch of keys and that will return you as a set right so basically here you get the key again you can apply uh, enhance loop enhance for loop and this will give you the key right this returns you the this api basically extracts a set of keys and that give it and give it to you as a key and you iterate this set and you'll get the key uh, every key from the map so you can print like key and how you get the corresponding value so map has a method is called map dot get and here you'll pass the key right and this key you are getting by iterating this set and this way you can print map as well so these are the two traditional way to iterate map now jdk 1.8 onwards you can iterate map using for each loop right so let's see how we can iterate map using for each loop and that's so simple so you have a map map dot you can go for the for each and look at the for each signature what arguments for is taking by consumer uh, mm -hmm. if you have remembered in previous video tutorial we had seen how to iterate list or set and there uh, then we try to apply for each on list then that was taking consumer as an argument and consumer was and functional interface this already we had discussed again by consumer because this is a map map always holds key value pairs so that's why instead of consumer I mean this method for each method is accepting by consumer and by consumer is again and functional interface and as we know that if our interface is functional then we can apply lambda expression happily right and this uh, functional interface has a accept method so directly i'm going to use lambda expression over here so uh, we can uh, we can apply lambda expression in this fashion you have a key then k k k stands for key and comma v and here you can specify the lambda sign and see so uh, i do hope this will help out me yes and here you can happily print key directly key, sorry k is the key and separate with the tab 
and we can print value as well right and see the, the how concise and compact way we have written uh, for each loop but uh, upper two ways takes I mean lot of code to iterate map right this is the amount of code but uh, when you use for each loop to iterate map then only single line of code if I iterate it then we we'll get the almost single output so look at here so we got the output right so this is the way to iterate map using enhance I mean for each loop right which is the part of the JDK 1.8 so that's all I wanted to show in this video tutorial. In next video tutorial, we'll come with some more, uh, I mean, example uh, which belongs to the uh, lambda expression itself. So please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video.